In this video, I will be demonstrating some of the cool new features for Unity 2017 because I just got back from Unite Europe in Amsterdam and they demonstrated a lot of cool new features that will be rolling out in Unity this year. So the beta version is called Unity 2017.1.01 and you can find this beta version by clicking the link in the description below. Um, not all the features have been added to the beta version yet, but as soon as the new features will be added, I'll also add new videos, of course. So I can't demonstrate every single new feature, but I will try to demonstrate the features that will actually add something to your workflow or add something to um, the way that you develop games. So I will start by looking at some of the 2D features. And the first feature I would like to demonstrate is something called sprite masking. So we were already able to mask uh, UI elements but now they have also added sprite masking so that you can actually also mask your 2D sprites. So to demonstrate this, I would like to add a window to my game and show how I can mask something inside that window. So first of all, I will need a background that needs to be inside the window. I have a cloud that I would like to pass uh, through the window or by the window, I mean. And then I have a frame and the frame is what's inside the window because I need that frame to mask it. And then I have the window here, okay? So these are the things that I will need to demonstrate this for you. First of all, I would like to make my window a little bigger. I think 100 is a little small. And then I'm adding it to the game. Besides that, I would like to add the background. And of course, yeah, I would like the background behind my window so I can take the background and change the order and layer to minus one, right? But right now, there is the, the background is visible outside the window here. And I would like it to be visible only inside this area here so that we can't see the edges here let's say that we would like to uh, just have a floating window in our game well then we would wouldn't like to have these edges around it so we need to mask it so to mask it we can right click on our window go to 2d object and select a sprite mask okay so now it actually has a sprite mask as a child object in the sprite mask, we will need to add something that need, that can mask the other sprites. So I've created a white sprite that has exactly the same size here or the same shape here as the window. So this is my frame here. And I, I said the window was pixels per unit 50. Well, my frame should be the same, right? Because I made it from that sprite. I just went to Photoshop and filled this out and cut it out and made a sprite of it. So I have my frame here. Um, sorry, I need to select this first and then say what should it mask? Well, it should mask from this frame. Now you can see there's an orange edge here and that's what it's masking. So I can take this background and put it as a child object of the window. Then I need to tell it that it has a mask. So I select the background, say mask interaction. Right now it's none, but I would like to be visible inside the mask. So now you can see I can only see my sprite inside the window. I can also do it opposite by saying visible outside the mask, so there's nothing here. So let's say we have a wall inside the inside um, the house or outside whatever, and we would like the wall to be invisible here. Well, then we simply just mask it outside. But right now we have something that needs to go inside the window, so we select visible inside mask. And I can take this background right and make it smaller to make it fit a little better say we have this so now we have some ground and we have some clouds and stuff well besides that i would also like a cloud to pass by the window so i can just make it a little smaller let's give it this size but right now when it passes by it's visible next to the window and then it is still visible here so it's only hidden when it's behind these so of course i need to take the cloud put it as a child object and then I can say, well, mask interaction, visible, inside mask. So now the cloud is invisible, and when it passes by the window, it's visible. And of course, we can make some script. This is not needed, this is just some extra I'm doing. Um, creating a script called cloud. And then we can make it pass by. Uh, by the way, if you're interested in the files that I'm using here, if you just want to download it and play around with it, uh, you can click the link in the description just to go to a page where you can download all the files and use them. And those files will be updated every time I add a new video for um, for this uh, little series I'm creating. So when I add a new feature, you will be able to 
see that as well, uh, download the files for that as well. So let's make a private float called speed and let's serialize it so that we can see it outside and then say, let's say that we want to create a start position and let's set that position there we go and let's make a update called uh, transform the translate yeah that's what i want to do translate vector free dot right multiplied by time the delta time and multiplied by the speed there we go and then we want the cloud to respawn when it's outside the frame so void on became uh, invisible so every time the cloud gets outside all camera renderers well then this is called then we say transform the position equals start position there we go so if we save this and jump into unity and select our cloud and make sure we give it a speed of one or maybe faster and if i play the game now then the cloud spawns and it is invisible and then it comes becomes visible here and at some point it's outside the frame here and it moves all the way outside this frame so we so the camera can't see it anymore when that happens it will respawn and pop over here and then come back in so that's simply just for demonstrating this mask right so we can mask the st mask stuff inside and outside um sprites now so that's it for this video thank you very much for watching and please remember to follow me on twitter like my facebook page and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it already because i will keep making these videos and you will get updates if you do so so thanks for watching